What's up, everybody? I know it's been a little minute, but I didn't have any content for y'all. I couldn't think of anything that I wanted to talk to you guys about. But I have two good subjects for y'all. I'm going to be talking about the wall, cordless seniors that everybody's been talking about. And I'm going to be giving y'all some tips on this holiday season and how to make it more profitable and different things that you can do to gain more clientele and make a little bit more money. So just stay tuned. This is the cut. First off, I want to say I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. What I'm gonna be talking about is different things that you can do during this type during this time of year, the holidays, where you can earn extra money and make this time of year real profitable and earn some new clientele and get some new people into the shop that you can hold on to for a long time. And you know, besides you know Christmas and, and Thanksgiving and New Year's, that's a lot of things going on in between those special events where people are going to need haircuts so you have like kids recitals are going on a lot this year you have a lot of plays that are going on a lot this year christmas parties dinners there's just so many things where people are going to be trying to get in the shop and get those last minute haircuts so you guys want to make sure you're doing all that you can to get those people to come in the shop to expand their hours at the shop so if your shop opens normally at nine or ten o'clock try opening at seven thirty or eight o'clock you know to try to give people that's got to get in early though that space during the holiday season to get in early or if you open at 10 o'clock and close at 7 try closing at 8 or 8 30 you know just to let those people that need to get those last minute haircuts get in also try to offer like some after hour service so if you could if you don't mind traveling to somebody or having somebody come to your house to get a haircut you know you could charge them charge them of quarterly of course you want to be compensated for your time because your time is just as important because this time of year you should be spending with your family so anything that you have to do extra you need to make sure that you're being compensated for that time so if you have like some type of after hour thing going on where you're you know doing house calls or people was coming to your house to get haircuts that'll be good you want to make sure that you're telling people that you're offering that service i did it myself i put it on facebook hey if anybody need a last minute haircut or they need a haircut on the day that i'm not at the shop you know let me know we can make it happen but for a price because i'm not out here you know doing charity work my time is important just like their time is important and i need to be compensated for that stay organized you don't want to have your appointments overlapping each other so you want to make sure that if you if you have appointments that the, you're doing to making sure that your people is coming on time and you're not taking too much time doing haircuts because you might have somebody that's coming that has a one o'clock appointment that needs to be out by 1 45 2 o'clock because they have something else to do at 2 15. you don't want to hold that person up and you know you got them in the chair at 1 30 when they had a one o'clock appointment and then you're messing up their whole day because you're going to need at least 30 to 45 minutes to get that haircut done proficiently. So you make sure you want to make sure that you're staying organized and you're not causing any problems with your uh, client's time because, like I said, just as much as your time is important, their time is important too. And at the end of the day, that's that's what really matters: getting them in and getting them out of the barbershop so they can do what they need to do. It would be a good idea to make room in your schedule. If you have a lot of appointments, it'll be a good idea to make room in your schedule for walk-in. So if you have like a really busy day or something like that, if you know you're going to have a busy day, a lot like two hours or maybe even just an hour to get one or two walk-ins because those are new people that you can add to your book. So if, you, if you're if you available, if you have the availability to add some walk-ins to your uh your book, I would suggest doing that because those are people that you can bring into your book and hopefully keep. You know, this time of year, a lot of people may work, you know, they might live and work in the city and live out in the suburbs and they may not have time to go get that last minute haircut in their neighborhood. So they're like, hey, I know there's a barbershop near my job. I'm gonna go and check them out. So when they come into your shop, I mean, you might be able to snag them by giving them a good haircut and then you have a new client. So every time they get off work or every two weeks when they get off work, they can just head over to your shop instead of trying to rush to the one in their neighborhood to get a haircut for that last minute event that they're having. So make sure you want to try to you, you want to try to um, allow that, that walk-in space because that's, that's that's really important this time of year. Walk-ins are always going to be coming to the barbershop for those last minute services and those convenient services especially if you work on a, in a barbershop that's in the city. Like business cards. You guys wanna make sure that you have some type of business cards. If you want some business cards and you don't have any business cards, you wanna uh, go on Vistaprint. That's where I got my business cards from. Um, you go on Vistaprint and get them done. They're not expensive. 
You can put your own designs on them. You can put your haircuts on them. You can do whatever you want to them. They're not expensive at all. Make sure you're going out. When you go out, you have a, 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 a few with you so that you can pass them out. Let's say you're going Christmas shopping and you see people walking around all the time in the malls with jacked up haircuts. You can pass them out. Hey man, I'm offering services at my shop this time through this time I have early hours that's available I have late hours that's available and I also offer house calls that you can come to me after hours if you need a last minute haircut so that's a good way to market yourself business cards are going to be very important this time of year so you want to make sure that you have these so that you can market yourself and bring those people in uh, to, to your shop with a few tips that I wanted to give you guys that can make this season a little bit more profitable uh, if you have any questions or comments or concerns you know about any of that stuff that I said you can hit me in the comment section below and I'm gonna give you all my take on these cordless wall seniors now I'm not a big fan of cordless clippers I'm not a big fan of I like to just plug my stuff in and use it and, and have that constant power when I have, when I see uh, cordless clippers, I worry about the power lasting. And people always say, "Oh, the power is great. The power is great." That I look at the reviews online, and I'm just like, "How can you make that determination when they haven't even been out for a year yet, or six months?" And once you've been using them constantly for six months, then you can determine whether or not that battery is going to be able to keep up for for uh, the longevity, like they did when they first. Well, the battery can uh, hit as much as it did when you first turn them on. A lot of people were saying that about the Magic Clip. Oh, they're great, they're great, they're great. But I know one thing that's true about the Magic Clip is that over time, they didn't work as well. So, you know, I feel like with this Clipper, we just have to wait and see. Um, am I going to get them? Hell no, I'm not going to get them. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of them. I know people are like, oh, you're so stupid. These are the best cordless clippers in the world and you can use cordless for kids and they're just so convenient and so much versatility and da 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 I don't care. I'm not getting them. I don't want them. I'm just not a big fan of cordless clippers. I'd rather have cordless trimmers than cordless clippers. I like that constant flow of power. I don't have to worry about them dying out on me. I, I, I don't. I don't worry. I don't like to worry about the issues. I'd rather, you know, just untangle them when they gotta get tangled. I don't want to have to worry about them dying and having to charge one while the other one is use one while the one other one is charged. That's just too much work. And from the price point that I heard that these wall seniors is going to be, I'm good. I honestly would rather have some magic clips anyway. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or gripes or complaints about anything I said about the wall seniors, you know, you can just hit me up in the comment section below. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace. Thanks for watching.